We are back for another brand new video review. Thank you all for tuning in. Today we are not really checking out the helmets that you see in front of you, but we are taking a look at the helmet stands that are holding up these helmets. These are presented by Tom Spina Studios. They are, or he is the man behind Regal Robot, who if you recall, I did the reviews on the two Mythosaur Skull wall plaques or wall decor pieces that I do have. And I recently came across a social media post of theirs talking about their helmet stands and basically collector accessories that any collector can really use. I took a look at the helmet stands that they do have available and compared the prices to things you would find on Amazon or even eBay and figured they're roughly about the same price, I should say, but most likely better quality because they are coming from Tom Spina Designs, who specializes in these collector theme uh, items, you know, that any collector could really use. So let me go ahead and take off the helmets. As you can see, these are the, Mandal the Hasbro Mandalorian and Hasbro Stormtrooper helmet. My Stormtrooper is signed by a ton of Stormtrooper actors, but I have not done a review on that just yet. It's still kind of a work in progress. I'll share that later. These are just two of the many different varieties that they do have available on their website. The mannequin head, the foam head you see, was actually a scratch and dent and it was a little bit cheaper than their typical brand new kind of pricing, which looking at it, I really didn't see anything wrong with it. I'm sure there is some things wrong with it, like they mentioned, but nothing that affects the actual display and I think, oh, I thought these were cracks, but they're just little threads that are coming off of the uh, mannequin head. There's nothing really wrong with it that is preventing me from using it as a quality display piece, and it looks really well, and it doesn't interfere with anything like I mentioned. The one on the left that has the, the little glass top and the copper kind of tone stand, that does also come in different varieties, like a metal stand and just more of a dome top with, to rest the helmet on. But this was basic, this is all I really needed for now, and of course I wanted to test them out. And the mannequin head is actually for my Jedi Temple Guard mask, which I will show in just a moment. But let me get a little bit more detail on both of these. As I mentioned, this one does come with the acrylic flat top for the helmet to actually rest on. The other version kind of has the dome shape and it's little bit thicker. I don't really need that, like I said, but I wouldn't mind getting it in the future. This one fits the Stormtrooper helmet perfectly and it doesn't really cause any issues for it. I will show you the bottom of it once I put the helmet on to show you how much space there is. And the actual stand and base gives it a nice subtle quality that it doesn't, again, interfere with the helmet itself. But when you do see it, you'll really notice that it is something kind of classy material, something you would find in a museum. And it is the same all throughout, nothing really to check out there. The bottom does have the foam soft base. And this does kind of come unassembled. The acrylic top was packaged separately to keep it safe from cracking and breaking. And the screw comes with it, you just pop this on and screw it in and it works just fine. And you already saw the Stormtrooper helmets. Let me put the Mandalorian helmet. There we go, it rests perfectly. Just depending on the helmet, you might see it resting a little bit higher or lower at an angle. You can adjust the helmet itself. And just taking a look at the base of the helmet to show you how much of it actually rests or how much of a gap there is. And yeah, that's about it. So really straightforward, simple design. I, it works really well for my needs and it's great for having helmets on a display shelf. I can't recall if they had any wall hanging display stands. I know those are typically like the motorcycle helmet display stands. A lot of people have been using for these Hasbro or just any Star Wars bucket. But for right now, I don't mind using these in my cabinets, my detolfs, my shelves, but I will probably start looking for some to hang on the walls once I get more helmets as well. And to bring in the mannequin head, like I said, it's just a straightforward soft foam mannequin head, nothing to it. It's a good size, of course, smaller than my own head, so I can't really compare it to that, but it is perfect, you know, nice flat round top head. Again, I don't see any issues, even though it was marked as a scratch and dent. 
And this is also something I could not find for the life of me. I am using this for my Temple Guard cosplay mask. And I figured if I found, because I have found just the mannequin head without any type of display, the counterweight would make it fall forward and I wouldn't be able to actually use it. So I'm very glad I found this with the display base to actually give it some counterweight to hold it up so the mask's weight isn't making it fall forward. Here is a look at the bottom. Not the prettiest look, but you're not gonna be seeing that bottom a little bit. I guess here are the scratches that, again, you really, I didn't actually even notice until now, so this is the first time I am seeing it. Might be a little bit dusty and some particles that get stuck to the head itself. Let me go ahead and show you this one with the Stormtrooper helmet since I had the Mandalorian helmet on it first. There we go, so it fits nicely, and let me get you a image of the base as well. And again, depending on the helmet, this one rests lower, so depending on the angle, you'll see more or less of it. And here is the mask, so the back is open, which is why I needed something like this. I guess I can show you if it would or how it would look without that head. On a base like this, it just wouldn't sit right. It just kept falling forward and you can't really you know, hold it upright. So I'm not gonna break this and risk that. I did have to make the straps tighter than how it would be on my own head. So it does rest easily. And if I can just get this wrapped around right. So you do want to make sure whatever straps you have are snug so it does stay in place. And there we have it. I know my camera angle is a little bit higher so let me grab my other camera to show you from the front. It rests just above the base which is absolutely fine for my needs. Again, this is gonna be on my shelf so it does offer a great viewpoint. And even showing the neck and kind of the side of the head, it almost reflects my own cosplay because I do wear a black balaclava, so it looks like a real head in there. Well, there we have it, folks. Just my quick thoughts on these two helmet stands and display stands. Like I said, they have a ton of different options. You can go to their website to check it out. I will link them, Tom Spina Designs, down below, and also linking Regal Robot because I do have and love their items also. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below or even feel free to reach out to them because their customer service is amazing and their shipping rates and packaging is super simple and straightforward. It will get to you in like two or three days anywhere in the continental US. Me being in California, they ship out of New York. I had these in, I believe, two or three days after they confirmed shipping and it took maybe two days to get them shipped, but I did order over the weekend, so there was that slight delay. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for future videos.